Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to the next session of SAP Ever for the Hunter Ring series. So in the last session, and thank you for choosing the video tutorials. So in the previous session, we have discussed about the case expression in CDS view. Now we have a required pad. For example, so one more thing uh, which I forgot to tell you too. in SAP a web in a uh, HANA. Okay, SAP also provides us some standard CDS view roles. So like so standard tables, SAP provides us. Same way, SAP also provides us some standard CDS views. Okay, so today we will discuss about extended CDS view. What is this extended CDS view? Okay. Oh, yeah. So what is this extended CDS view is? For example, as SAP provides us multiple standard CDS rules related to each function module, and also during a project implementation, if you will create tons of custom CDS rules, since the CDS rules are just virtual data models, okay, you will want if you will want to reuse the view created in one project or for one project to another project, okay. Let's assume you have created a CDS rule with five fields on table A. For example, you have a table here. Uh, let me go back to the clean system. Okay. Uh, let's take here as, yeah, just simple take this one. Today. Okay. For example, you have created a CDS view on this MAKT table. On which case, you are taking one, two, and three tools and fetching from this table using this CDS view. Okay. So, and for you have one more requirement from another. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you have one more requirement from another client, but this is one requirement from one client, they say we want these two three fields. If you are having one more requirement from another client, okay, when they want here all the fields from there, it is a negative table. You are you don't go. You are not going to create a new CDS view for this. Okay. So what you will do is you can extend this CDS view into the another CDS view. Is this clear, guys? So instead of creating new CDS view free of scales, we can use the concept of CDS view extensions. And you use the previous view we created and extend it with the new fields. Clear guys? So extending the existing view into the new view, that concept is known as our CDS view. Is this clear guys? Okay. Um, we have to go there. Okay, let's create one CDS view new other repository object. Give a set definition. Yeah, select this. Click on next. We extended CDS view. Extended CDS view on any empty table. Okay, just a normal example, simple example. Okay. Click on next, click on next, and here you can see something known as extended, no, extended view, extended view, okay? Extended, look here, description is also there. Extends an existing CDS view by adding the specified elements to the select list of the CDS view using a, using a view enhancement, okay? Is this clear, guys? Let's click on finish, okay? Okay, it will take some time. Sorry, guys, our system is still slow. Okay, so you can see this is our standard CDS view. Okay. Give your they are your SQL view name. We will extend. Okay. View name. Extend view with the extended CDS. What is your view name? Give your view name here. Cut this up. Uh, close this. One second there. What is this? Second is. Yeah, I want to extend this CDS view. You can select this CDS view, copy this. Okay. What you can do is 
directly go there, go back there. Okay, and give their test and union. So I want to extend this EDS view over there. It is clear, guys. Just press control space. So you will find that all the fields from this series of view. Did I use anywhere any MKT? No, no. But from where this it is taking this field? If I will select the MKTG, okay, it save this, okay, or you can directly add this image, check this, and activate this. Right click, run as a BAP application. So, guys. It is fetching, it is it has added this MAKTG field also over there. Okay, is this clear? Right click if I will see this output a web application. So this is my normal CDS view. Okay. This is my MAKT series. Okay. In second, yeah, it's extended extended. That's why it's fetching that MAKT record also. Is this clear? So for extending the ex Existing CDS view, we use this concept which is known as extended CDS view. Hope this one is clear to everyone, guys. Okay. We can also, uh, uh, what you can do is we can also test this, use this CDS view into our report. How can I consume that? Go to our report. Mm, go to that program. Z, consume. Extended view, okay. Consume extended CDS view. Click on next, click on finish, okay. Okay, what you just have to do is directly go there, select, start your own, your main view name. What is our main view name? Is uh, this is why. Right. It is well this way. Yeah, this is my main view. Go there, run this into table at the red data WD MKT. CR demo. Output. Okay. Okay. Output. This. Okay. Here, demo, output, okay, display, what you can do is WT, MA, KT, save this, check this, and then activate this, right click, then as WP application, Okay, you can see this set the data from both views. Is this clear, guys? Okay, and one more thing which I want to tell you.